so I am back and this is going to be my August favorites video because it is now the going into the second week of September so first of all I'm sorry that it took so long um, to get this favorites video up but if you can't tell I'm a little bit sick um, Monday yesterday today's Tuesday uh, Monday I hit my the beginning of my third trimester so I hit the 28 week mark so now I've got to start going to the doctor every two weeks and I got to start really preparing myself which I'm, just, I'm getting so nervous about having this baby <laughs> but um, anyway if you guys want like a vlog uh, type of video about my pregnancy and stuff then let me know my baby shower is this Saturday and uh, my mom my niece my aunt and my sister are all throwing it for me so um, pretty much most of the women in my family are um, besides uh, my mom's sisters they're not because most of them don't live in town so anyway I was thinking about doing like a um, kind of vlog video of that day or maybe a slide show of pictures I don't know I'm not into pictures I'm not really big into pictures so I don't take pictures all the time so I don't even know if there will be a lot of pictures um, so we'll see but if you guys are interested in that just let me know in the comments below um, so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this video but before I excuse me before I do I want to let you guys know that if you're interested in the makeup that I'm wearing right now I just did a tutorial earlier but I took my contacts out put my glasses on because my contacts were hurting my eyes I did have a different lip on the lip I'm wearing right now is a lipstick I'm going to talk about in a minute and then um, just a very light pink MAC lip gloss that I don't even remember the name of. Um, but if you're interested in this makeup tutorial, I will link it down below. So, moving on. Um, I don't have a lot of products. I have like, I don't know, six maybe or seven. Um, so I guess I'll just start off with the makeup products that I have. The first thing that I've really been liking this month a lot. Um, sorry, I'm kind of sick too, so sorry if I sound a little funny. Um, I, I've i always been kind of iffy about the EOS products, but I actually started using my EOS, the yellow one, which is Lemon Drop again, and I've used a lot of it, as you can tell, and I really, really like this. It's, um, it smells like Lemon Drop, it tastes really good, and um, it's very moisturizing, so I've just been using it a lot this month. My lips have been very, very trapped, my face has been dry, my lips have been dry, my hair has been dry. Oh my gosh, this pregnancy, I'm, it's like drying my body out, so. Um, and then my uh, next makeup favorite is my Superstay Makeup 24-Hour uh, Maybelline Makeup, and I'm in the color Classic Ivory. I actually have this on my face right now. Um, I usually wear my Rimmel Stay Matte Foundation, like I was wearing that for the summertime, which I do really like it. <clears throat> because it keeps my face nice and matte and stuff um, and it's not heavy it's not very full coverage it's very natural and I really like it but more towards the fall and winter I like to wear a little bit of a heavier foundation because it tends to give me just a little bit of moisture I don't know and I need it well anyway like I said I've been dry so I started to use this foundation a lot more this month and um, I don't know I just realized how much I really loved it and you can actually sheer this foundation out it does not have to be it's a very full coverage foundation if you want it to be but you can blend it out and make it super, super not full coverage. Okay, and then the next makeup item I have is a lipstick. And this is the lipstick I'm wearing right now. And this is uh, the Revlon Matte Lipsticks. Yeah, Revlon Matte. And this is in Pink Pout. Just the packaging looks like that. It's like matte black. And it looks like this. Which I haven't used very much of it. Um, but I have used it a lot more this month than I've used any other lip products. So... I really like it. The only bad thing is your lips have to be like moisturized, they have to be exfoliated. If not, the matte lipsticks, they just cake up on your lips and kind of look bad. They And this even kind of doesn't look good on its own. You definitely have to, I would say, at least I wouldn't wear it on its own. I definitely would put a lip gloss over it just because I think matte lipsticks tend to make your lips look dry. And the next product I have here is a hair nail polish. And I have been really into this color this month. I don't know why. <coughs> More so than any other color, I've just been wanting to wear this all the time. And it is China Glazes for Audrey. I have it on right now. 
with a glitter accent on my ring finger, which I'm getting ready to repaint my nails because they need repainted drastically, like super bad. So I'm getting ready to repaint them after this video, but um, I just am really liking this. I don't know why. I just really like the color. I think it looks really nice when your nails are nice and like manicured and look really, you know, it looks really clean and fresh. Um, and then the next product I've really been liking is the Clean and Clear Persa Gel. 10% um, benzoyl peroxide acne medication and this is the maximum strength now I don't usually use like a spot treatment because I don't break out a ton like I used to um, because my proactive works awesome wonders for me but this month I've been getting a few little pimples here and there and I'm telling you what I use this on them and I will continue to put this on the pimple until it goes away and literally within maybe I don't know four maybe five days the pimple's completely gone. Like you have a little bit of a red spot from the aftermath of it, but the pimple itself is completely gone. So I really like this. Then the next favorite product I have are some hair products. And the first one here is nothing new. You guys have seen me talk about this hundred times and it's the Aussie Hair Insurance Leave-In Conditioner. And um, I actually started using this again because I ran out of my It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product and I just could not um, bring myself to pay $18 for that tiny bottle at Ulta. So I paid $3 for this at Walmart and I love it. It makes my hair super soft and super shiny. Uh, speaking of shine, I've also really been liking the Tresemme Smooth No Frizz Ultra Light um, Shine Spray. I've really, really been liking this. The only thing is if you do use too much, I actually like to use it in my hair wet and dry. Um, if I want to kind of help with the flyaways and stuff, I will use it in my hair wet. But if I just want to give it some shine and some smoothness, I like to dry my hair and style my hair, flatten it, whatever, or straighten it or whatever, and then I like to spray, excuse me, a little bit of this in my hand and run it through the ends of my hair. And it's very shiny and smooth and silky filling and I really like it. And as you can see, I've used quite a bit of it and I've had this a very long time. Um, and then the next product I like a lot, I love this product, is the Bedhead After Party Smoothing Cream for Silky Shiny Healthy Looking Hair. And this is just like a white cream that you squirt out the top, and it's just like a serum you rub in your hands. It's really soft. It smells so good. And I like to put a little tiny bit on my fingertips, and then I run it through the ends of my hair to get like the excess off. And then I like to take it through my roots and the top of my hair to make it um, not so frizzy. But if you do use too much of it, it will look oily on your like root area. So you don't want to just take a big handful of that and apply it like that because it's going to look oily and greasy. Um, so yeah, you don't want to do that, but it looks really nice if you just use a little tiny bit. And then my very last beauty item that I'm going to talk about is my um, Caress Evenly Gorgeous Exfoliating Body Wash. I love this. This is in the scent Burnt Brown Sugar and Karite Butter, or Karite Butter, I don't know. But um, it smells so good. It smells literally like brown sugar, or like cooking brown sugar. I guess that's why it's called Burnt Brown Sugar. I don't know. It just smells really good and it leaves your skin, it's got these little exfoliating beads in it, which I really like, and it leaves your skin with this scent, like for a long time. I would say I smell this on my skin probably four, maybe five hours after I take a shower, I'm still smelling this on my skin. So um, I really like that. It goes, I like to wear it with my Hawaiian Ginger Body Splash, just because throughout my pregnancy I haven't been able to wear a ton of scents and things like that because things make me sick, you know, 